Uh, hey guys, welcome to another one of our podcast, Nerd Things, and today my new host Adam yep. is here with you. Yep, back again, <laughs> but also new at the same time. <laughs> Where it is, the way we do things around here. All right, so he's going to be Adam and me. Yep. Um, but tonight we have two topics. Um, one we watch the the episode of the God of Small yeah, Things. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. God of Small Things. Oh. <laughs> Go look that book up, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see uh, uh, quite the long read. But uh, no, it's The God of High School, uh, the, the, high school. I believe the Korean uh, manga, yeah. Man Wan Wa, however, you, however you're supposed to say it. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it was it was interesting. I, I After watching it, I want to, uh, I definitely want to go read the webtoon to see what I've missed. But first, uh, we'll go over things that we liked, and then we'll go over things we don't like, and talk about the anime in general. So I guess... Uh, you want to start off with the things that you like? Sure, I thought the... Well, I'm going to start with the best part of the show. For me, it was just the intro. <laughs> the music was so hype. I I think... I haven't seen too many 2020 anime, but... For now, that's probably my favorite intro. Song-wise, I think the... The video I could have been a little bit better, because it was just the same... The scenes we had seen. They, yeah. Yeah, they didn't actually make news too many... They made a couple, but not as much as I expected. Yeah, they should have towered the rock and shit. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing to do with the anime. Yeah, but the, no, the I thought that was the um, intro was cool, and the fight animation was I think some of the best fighting animation I've seen in an anime. Oh yeah, I, I mean for for I you know I was going in thinking you know Crunchyroll exclusive they'll probably do like sort of like a um, like Ajin. Yeah, yeah, like Ajin or something like apparently the animation for um, Tower of God. The, the other oh, weapon, apparently that one's not too good either, so I figured it'd be something sloppy, but it was really, really well done. The yeah. fight scenes were amazing. That was definitely, definitely a plus for the show. And I, I going back to the uh, the intro, and it's like, you don't really see too many animes with, like, heavily dubstep intros. Usually it's like a mix of, like, you know, rock dubstep or sort of rap dubstep, mm, so you don't see pop. too many in the Japanese animes. But it's interesting that the Korean ones, they would use this, and it, and it worked out really well. I was impressed, was, you know. I, I really liked it been skeptical before but now i'm <laughs> i'm actually looking forward to more dubstep like intros mm-hmm. i was happy yeah um so that was one of i think those two were the biggest positives i had for the show is yeah the fights were i mean they were awesome they were i didn't yeah. really get into spoilers just so people know but because we're, we're going to talk about the whole anime but yeah um yeah they were creative yeah really really well they kind of reminded me a little bit of like uh almost like uh uh Guru Magan a little bit like mm-hmm. not as not in terms of like ridiculousness because nobody's ever but the way like sort of the just maybe it was like the I think what I thought more was Tokyo Ghoul came to my mind that's true that that as well that's probably even more than Guru Magan yeah and because of that. the body horror the mon- half it was interesting so like I didn't quite understand at points if what at the at first I didn't understand if like the giant scythe guy the main the guy with green hair, yeah. Q, I think is his name, yeah. shows if that was real or not. Because I, at first I thought when the show started, it was going to just be exaggerated combat because it was yeah. exaggerated, but yeah. I was like, oh, this is real stuff. Yeah. Because they were using like real martial arts. And they got in like ch- Cherry Rock or Cherry Yeah, and then all of a sudden, like that episode, they're like, but fantasy stuff exists. Yeah, I was yeah, like, I well, what? thinking, like, what are the people in the audience like, what the fuck is yeah, the Yeah, And like, then I saw the comments and they were like, no, it's just a symbolic for how he's not actually having a scythe, his attacks are just as strong or it can cut you as much as a scythe. I was like, oh, cool, but then later on, like, real magic yeah. starts happening, you're like, yeah. okay, no, that's not symbolic. No, no that's not, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, there's actual magic happening, yeah. and nobody is, like, the crowd's not like, what no, the fuck is going I know, on? that's <laughs> what I was thinking, like, aren't you guys surprised, like, this isn't just martial arts, <laughs> exactly. like, sending black magic. Because they never, they never set it up at the start that magic existed in this world. No, and we'll get into, I'll get into that more as I go into the cons, but for the pros, I agree with you, the intro was actually really well done, like I said, the fight scenes, um, Voice acting, I liked. Yeah, that was pretty I liked the, uh, the beginning scene where uh, she's like, she the, the I forget the girl with the glasses, I can't even remember her name at the moment. <laughs> she's like, the, those, those like martial arts guys were she's like, I love guys with muscles. I'm oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Actually, like, I'm surprised it, it never came up again. Yeah, no, it never did. Cra- that that crazy like, I thought that was going to be like a big running gag or something. Yeah, that she was like super into dudes. With the I football. completely forgot because she never showed a girly side after that. No, no. That's the only girly side she has the whole show. So yeah, that I thought was funny. The humor was pretty good. There's pretty good humor in that. Yeah, it was and... interesting. It was like very... I, I like the little small chibi character humor. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, yep, it was... Yeah, and he definitely had a, a Goku-like... You know, the main character? Yeah, definitely a Goku-like. I liked his name with a Jin Tai. 
Jin, Jin, Jin Mori. Jin Mori, Mori, yeah. Jin Mori or something. I, I always yeah. think when I think of Jin, I think of Tekken, the main yeah. guy. That, yeah. And he's so badass in that game. So it was like, Jin, that's a cool name. Yeah, Jin Mori. They were, it's other Korean names. Well, I mean, it takes place yeah, in Korea, Korea, so. But that wasn't, I didn't even realize it was Korean until, like, I noticed the sign said, the god of high school, Seoul. Yep, so I was like, what the hell? Well, I knew the names, like, Dewa and um, the other girl's name. Like, those were all... Well, I... I so when I, when I started, I thought the god of... <laughs> they got <it> small, like, <laughs> got the small, god like. of high school was going to be, like, a worldwide contest. Yeah. But I didn't realize it was just a Korean fight. Yeah. Which is why I thought it was fine that there was so many random names yeah. that I didn't understand. No, but it's... But, but there is one around the world. There is, like, everybody's testing. So I'm assuming, well, obviously, the God of High School is over now, and there's, it seems like it's but, really picking yeah, up. Yeah, but, but it was interesting that it was only representing yeah, Korea, Seoul. though. Yeah. Yes. Except Jun Mori, which is the Japanese name, at least, I think. <laughs> Maybe he's only... But he does Taekwondo, which is J- Korean. Not Korean, yeah. <laughs> Korean. Yeah. Of course, he's a main character, yeah, yeah, so he's going to yeah, represent no. Korea. As does oh, I'm surprised the second, the Daiwi. Daiwi. Yeah, Daiwi. Yeah. yeah, he does karate. Yeah. Which I was surprised was even like, I thought that was going to. That's why he's not the main character. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But then, the, the, yeah, and then the other girl does. Uh, uh, some sort of sword kendo, style. Right? Yeah, it looks like kendo. I don't know if Korea has their own sword style. No, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, so those were pretty much uh, my pros. Again, animation was nice, especially for being a Crunchyroll original. I didn't think that was going to be anything. Intro was really nice, um, they had some good humor. The, the soundtrack was all right. Yeah. Not, like, super great, but, you know, it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. It was definitely serviceable. Uh, so, yeah, and now I'm going to get into the, the cons, the yeah. cons of the show, because I do, unfortunately, have a lot of those uh, as well. Although, I, overall, I would rate it as a good show. But I had fun. The thing about it is, it, it when I watched it, I definitely felt the sense of, like, they were trying to condense a lot of the webtoon into the anime, and you sort of missed out on a lot of information. Yeah. Like, Apparently, I read that in the webtoon, like Dewa wasn't even supposed to be fighting through that whole through the whole anime. Like he really? actually hadn't fought yet, or through like a a, a large portion of the anime. So mm. they're trying to sort of condense that fight, and then obviously episode four, where all of a sudden she's getting married to yeah. this guy. Yeah, like, no, and I think that was way for me. It was so early. I didn't. Did you ever connect with the character no, that much? No, no, I didn't connect. Even by the end of the show, I like, know. I was never... Like I kind of had a connection. I had a connection to. Was it an Edo or whatever the guy with that turned into the fox? Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. actually had him more than anybody else in the show and the main character i actually kind of connected with i kind of liked him but i didn't like the two side characters i had no connection really nobody even the even the bad guy like that no he just kind of shows up yeah and then he's the bad guy for the the, the end of the show both of them yeah both the shark guy and like neither one of them he was never built up i think the first bad guy he saw with the guys that that fights with his feet yeah i think he was a better he was he was a better built villain because you could see him like you know, well, I assumed there was going to be more to him. Like, there was some sort of effort that just kind of, like, kicked him out. Well, so I, yeah, know. and I expected th- that entire first soul probably could have been the whole season yeah. for me. Yeah. And then that would have been fine. Because I, I was like, oh, this this girl that does wrestling, I expected her to see her, like, in ten episodes. Yeah, yep, I expected it was going to be, like, a like general anime where it's like you see all these characters and then slowly but surely the plot drives them yeah. all together and then they I end think up. I, I like it when it's two episodes per fight. That's what I yeah. think is a good... Oh, yeah. So you can really understand. Because I, I was curious to see how they would have done wrestling in this combat thing um, worked out pretty well but it wasn't in, as much as no. i wanted it more yeah and i needed more yeah time oh, no, no, the, yeah. Combat. The, the combat well because i feel like that's the center of the show like god of high school like it's a combat like, <laughs> it's gonna be like fighting it's like dragon ball z like yeah everyone loved dragon ball z its story was crap but they spent 15 episodes fighting and it was like you know and i think that's another reason why i sort of connected with Jin because of goku connection and i really like goku even though he's not exactly an interesting character but yeah i feel like they rushed very very poor again maybe not their fault I, I i don't know what the budget is like i don't know you know maybe they can only make it 12 but i think for f- for in the future because i think it's still successful like i say it's mm-hmm. still very popular i would hope that they would you know stretch it out more so they can include because a, a big thing for me is like being able to like connect with the characters and like feel myself in that show yeah. like i can relate to these and i couldn't really get that on any character even, no, the, even the guy who turned into fox i really just wasn't like i mean him like he they they definitely made him at least tried to make him like more relatable than anybody you know his father you know going away and being yeah stuck you got there. a bigger backstory with him yeah and it's just like you know the, I, I don't know the main I can connect no, that world with the main kid no any of them I I, I love how they put the uh, wrestling trick from America with the huge <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah go figure go I figure. actually connected I think more with with Q with the guy with green hair I think yeah <laughs> yeah honestly like, I liked him he was cool um. But yeah, I feel like, again, this show, and, and then, like, 
they never really it wasn't really a good transition into like normal martial arts all of a sudden to like magic god fighting. I know. it's just like all one minute they're doing the next minute it's like there's this giant thing yeah from the sky. i was actually happy with just the regular martial yeah. exaggerating martial I thought arts that's what it was going to be <laughs> yeah. i thought it was going to be martial arts all the way through the whole tournament mm -hmm. just regular and then when they whoever wins it then it's sort of the big reveal oh it's not just martial arts there's more to this mm -hmm. and there's more about the bad guys and i also never did anything like because they remember how that announcer guy died they yeah infiltrated like what was he just like <laughs> i don't know he, what yeah why did he why did they choose him yeah like why i mean yeah, i never saw a commissioner him for, I, like, I i figured they would have i don't know like i said maybe again and that's the thing it's like they didn't have enough time to put as much of the source material as they needed into it and it's like you know hopefully for the future that would you know that would be a big criticism of mine is try to as much as possible get like a 24 26 episode yeah. of things that long and because uh, yeah like you said the marriage thing that's normally like an end thing in an anime yeah <laughs> it comes yeah. late into that or the entire arc but this is the one episode yeah it was like it should have been an four. arc it was like you know introduction fighting fighting marriage <laughs> yeah like, oh, okay and then you work through entire feelings and her yeah, entire yeah. thing in like and it's like all of a sudden minutes. her and jen have this huge connection <laughs> yeah. that they never had before even though they just met and yeah it's like i don't want her to get married and ruin her life yeah jen, you just met this girl like <laughs> two days ago like, i know how are you? it was just too fast and i was also annoyed that like I was like, oh, cool, this is going to be a training arc when the other guy, yeah. and then all of a sudden, no, no training no, arc. No, he, he just learns, he just learns. And that was annoying himself. because, like, because he trains with them, and, like, anytime they need him to pull out a new thing, he's like, oh, but I learned this back then. Yeah. So you can just pull out whatever you need because exactly. he, he, no, I, I need to see the training. Yeah, well, both of them, both uh, Jin and Dewa, like, Jin, oh, you're going to train with the old guy, and then you just get one flashback of him telling him something. And I expected... All of a sudden, Jin would be like... Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> I like, know. I was like, I needed to see those yeah, things. I needed to see him struggle with it. Yeah, like... So until he learns it, and then... Like, even Goku, you see training with King Kai to get the Kaioken, you know, having to try to catch bubbles and hit yeah. Gregory over, and you actually see that. And I needed... Like, I like training, though, right? Yeah. Anime. It makes... Again, it makes the character feel more relatable. Like, they work to get it. Like, mm -hmm. so when they use it, it's that much more impactful. Yeah. And it's same thing with Daywa, like he trains with the the one guy Q, and it's like never. <laughs> yeah, it's like I expected. I I expected after the 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 first initial small tournament that they had, they were gonna go their own separate ways. He was gonna go with the grandmaster, Daywa was gonna go with Q, and the yep. girl was gonna go with the announcer. Yep. And then they were just gonna come back later at a later yeah, time. time. And I think that was gonna be fine. And then <laughs> never happened. Next episode. They all yep. know everything. Yep. everything. Everything's good. We're all back at the tournament. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what happened to the training? Like, I think you could have done something really cool there with the, uh, with the, because uh, if you had the announcer, I mean, this was before, I guess, before he was attacked. But yeah, I think it'd been really cool if they had him attack and switch and the girl didn't notice and then he went to train her, but it turns out he was bad and they tried to attack. Like, I think that could have been the really cool plot line to explore too. But again, it's like, again, that's the issue with anime. Some animes are really good at it. Some animes adapt, like, like uh bleach for example is one where it's like they they you know people say oh they miss some things but nothing like you can still watch the whole anime and be satisfied like mm -hmm. yeah they made some differences instead of one character getting cut in half they just get stabbed it's like it's yeah. not like super the person's still injured and dying it's not like super then you know they they have few they include a few less scenes but this thing it feels like they just went you know oh we have something in the song let's just take this 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 and then just whoosh. yeah and at some points i was like i was thinking to myself i wish i was only watching the tournament yeah <laughs> i don't want to see i mean it's already a lot the full season could have just only have been the tournament that's fine but it's it's a lot to come late the end of the world and the tournament yep. at the same time and, and i don't think it worked where the what's his face walked into the pentagon and was doing something oh yeah because he was signing a treaty with the yeah, u.s something like that like yeah at first you're like i don't know it just felt like there was too much yeah and, I didn't and then want, the u.s yeah. fired all their nuclear weapons <laughs> and then seoul got obliterated <laughs> yeah and then, all of a sudden, this person came down from heaven and was like, I'll grant your one wish. I didn't actually understand. Like, at some points, I didn't understand what was going on. It was just too fast. And then at other points, I'm like, is this happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, again, it's all I like... Still... And then the guy's like, oh, my grandson. They never hit. He never got any character development either. The, the, the family's grandson who's like turned into that Oh, monster. yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, why should I... <laughs> what is... It's, it's like he's just a, a thing to further the plot. It's like mm -hmm. there's no... And then the grandpa's like, I'm going to avenge my son. <laughs> and just like fucking does this thing. And that should have been like a four episode thing where you understand him. all the missiles with him. <laughs> I understood he statue. was strong. But then I, didn't, I didn't understand the terms of strength. Is, is uh, What was the main... The host of the tournament called? Remember him? Not June. Not... Um, he was the one with the splash on his head. Oh yeah, the main guy. Yeah, the guy with the, the button up shirt. The main, the main, the like the boss guy. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't understand because I understood he was part of the six. 
yeah, whatever. I don't remember if it was yeah. six samurai or six whatever. Yeah, six um, important people. But I didn't understand who was stronger than who. Who was the main? I thought he was the main guy. But then this other old guy like no, I don't have obliterates like, him. I don't know how to gauge powers and like the, yeah. the, the, the I don't yeah I don't understand how to gauge powers in that show because they never really explain like who like and then you know Daywa becomes like the prince. I guess I inferred that he was a prince and then it's like you know he's got his staff and then he's just fucking that's not Daywa Jin or Jin yeah sorry not Daywa Jin <laughs> it's like the fucking prince got his staff and then it's like you know yeah power of the words were a little like because when the shark guy is eating people I can't. I never understood if he was actually eating people or what the fuck's going on. Like, it took me so long to understand if these creatures were actually real or not. I, uh, I, and I didn't even know by the end if they existed. Or and not. it was like, what was his, like, was that his chariot? Like, it was a shark, but then it was like yeah. those monster people, and then he became an angel <laughs> when he absorbed them, and then it's just like, they devoured him at the very end. Like, what? Why were they yeah. devouring him? Like, Unless he got like, I don't know. I don't again, know. It doesn't explain it. So again... I, I think a big knock on this anime is that it doesn't explain <laughs> itself well at all. And you just kind of mean, again, fight scenes were cool. You know, intro was awesome. Like, you know, score was good. But, like, it's, like, one of those things where I'm, I'm the kind of person when I watch an anime, I need I need some investment in the story. And maybe that'll change. Maybe with the next season they'll make it longer and you'll be mm-hmm. able to explain more. And they'll go back and sort of try to show what we missed in the first season. But, yeah. So, yeah, kind yeah, of a... Because I, I wanted the training arc with the guy. Yeah. I wanted, there was a lot of stuff that I felt like I was like, just, oh, that's it. It's cool. Even with the, it even started with the first episode when the tournament just, like, the initial battle royale just ends, and I'm like, did I miss an episode? And I actually went back, and I'm like, was there a cutscene after the outro? And I was like, no, it just ended. Yeah. And I was like, I was like okay, maybe that's a style decision halfway through the episode to go back, like they do in a lot of anime. Yeah, yeah. And they just never, I was like, well, how did it end? They were in mid-punch. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I'm not sure. And then, and then, like, yeah, I don't know. I, it's just, again... It's one of those things where you really you forget how important you know pacing all this stuff is when you're writing a story. You can't just go from A to B and be like, oh, I expect people like, oh, this just happens. I mean, even Dragon, going back to Dragon Ball Z, even that had correct pacing. Like you, you know, you go from you know watching Dragon Ball, then you get to Dragon Ball Z, and you got Goku and Piccolo. You know, they're enemies, but they're teaming up to defeat Raditz, and they finally get Raditz, and you hear over Scouter that there's more, and so Goku, Go Piccolo figures, oh, train go on, you know. Like, there's a progression to it, not just high school fight, <laughs> battle royale. All of a sudden, these three are friends. Yeah. More fights. Somebody's getting married. More fights. Yeah. Chakaruk. Ridiculousness. It's just like... Uh, it was just advancing too quick. Yeah. I couldn't, my brain, I couldn't keep up. There wasn't enough, wasn't enough explanation and context and depth to what they were trying to do. And like, if you just wanted to only have a combat anime, which is fine, then just only do the tournament arc and don't add more stuff that needs explanations. Yeah. Because I'm just going to confuse your audience. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to make it less of a likeable. But yeah, so I thought the character designs were pretty fucking cool, though. Yeah, the guy yeah. with the go with the scythe. That guy was cool. He was cool. I like liked the, him, uh, his attacks were awesome. Yeah, I like the uh, the foot guy, the kicking the kicking guy. He was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, the American wrestler. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, would you watch another season? Yeah, yeah, I would. I would see. I would give it a go. You know, I think I might read, uh, depending, you know, after when season two comes out, if it comes out, and then it was still, it still has the same sort of pacing as the first one, I would just go back and read the webtoon. Yeah. To be like, I would get a lot more out of it. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely one. I would check it out. Like I said, simply for the fighting. I mean, if nothing else, I enjoyed that. It was the animation. It was nice. really good. And you could watch, the, like, the, the fight between uh, uh, the fox kid and Jin in the very end when they he goes, that fox, cool. he's like, that was cool. When he gets knocked, he's like, unfortunately, I can't lose either. And he just comes back. <laughs> yeah, that was like, awesome. <laughs> what? And he does, like, the fox mode. And then that one girl, like, gets, like, she's into, like, fox guy. I'm assuming, remember, she, like, blushes or whatever. And he's looking oh. at her like, what? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that fight was really cool. I did. I did enjoy it. It was one of my favorites. So, yeah. I would, I would overall rate it probably, like, six and a half out of ten. Yeah, that's around what I would do. I didn't even know what the goal of the bad guys were. Yeah, I never explained I, that. I, I kind of understood that Nock wanted to kill all other gods, but I didn't understand how summoning the god to Earth did that. Yeah, when they make him more vulnerable <laughs> yeah. to being killed why, by... Why can't he do it himself? Well, I, I didn't get it. If gods are so weak that they can be killed by other humans, they, why can't well, the gods kill each other? Right, yeah, and it, it wouldn't make sense because obviously the key or the fox guy, the fox that would the build key. the weapon to kill gods and then bring the god towards the fox, wouldn't it make sense to keep the god away and just <laughs> capture the fox and take it yeah. instead of bringing him down? I didn't totally understand what was going on. Why would... I don't, I don't understand why, it was, why they were bringing the god down to Earth. 
Yeah. What's stopping the other guys from just coming in? Yeah, I, it looks like that's what happened, you know? <laughs> he came, he turned all those missiles into statues, and then flattened the statue, and then slammed something else, and the god exploded. Yeah, and they, all I don't know, they didn't even explain how that... Oh, yeah, because they said gods give the humans their powers, right? Something like that, that's yeah. That's what they were explaining, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, again, six and a half out of ten. I would check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you like action, you like fighting, you like that. That fight's really awesome. Yeah. I would, I would definitely give it a go, especially, you know, Dragon Ball Z, things like that. If you like those, you'll, I think you'll like this. Yeah, it's a good show, man. Um, what, which, yeah, we have another show coming up. Which one are we going to choose to? Ah, uh, here, let me, let me take a or, look. I have it on my Crunchyroll app. Yeah, we're looking at another anime for our next review. We had, we had fun doing this one. Oh, yeah, I had a blast. It was worth watching. Um. Because we had, one of them was Rent a Girlfriend, and the other one was... <laughs> We were interested yeah. in Raptor Girlfriend because it sounded pretty interesting. We were, what were you, in summer 2020? Um, Is that I, where we started or fall? I think it'd be... It's a season that just happened. Summer 2020, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Rent a Girlfriend, I think, is our next one. Is Maybe. that the one you want to do next? Yeah, and then what was the... We'll forget what the other one was. <laughs> the other one was like, we don't know if it's any good, but the plot sounded ridiculous and super etchy. And that's why we chose it, because yeah, we wanted to do an etchy show. Yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta throw an etchy show in there eventually. We thought it'd be fun. It's not Monster Girl Doctor, was it? No, I don't think so. What did oh, you? Oh, Peter, Peter Grill. That's what it was. Oh, was it? I think pretty sure it was Peter Grill. Let me, <laughs> let me read the uh, synopsis real quick. Uh, Peter Grill is the world's strongest fighter, but his ascent of the cow came with an unexpected consequence. Women around the world, human and monster, like want to bear his genetically superior children. Since he's currently <laughs> engaged in the love of his life, Peter isn't too keen on his sudden popularity. He'll take every ounce of self-control for Peter to keep his hands to himself and his relationship with his uh, paramour in one piece. Yeah, so that's definitely going to be coming up after uh, Rent a Girlfriend. It's going to be. <laughs> so you've got Mitchie Show, and then we'll figure out what we do next, but that'll be, that'll be fun. I think I like doing these little quick anime reviews. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a blast. Um, yeah. No, it'll keep us up to date with anime. Yep, yep. It allows us to, you know, sort of, because again, being an adult, you get busy lives and stuff, so it's not always easy to squeeze in. This gives you sort of like a, a more than just you want to watch any, like a good read, mm. like, okay, got this coming up. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to Rent a Girlfriend. Is that on the episode real quick, sorry? Probably 12. I had heard some good stuff about that one. At least I know that it's probably fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's 12 episodes. Yep. Cool. Yep, yep. So, yeah, uh, six and a half out of ten. Go we'll check it out if you like fighting. But looking forward, hoping there's a second season. I don't know. It seems pretty popular, so. Yeah. What did you think about having the. the I didn't know if I liked having the Crunchyroll and Webtoon logo in the. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> that took me out. I was yeah. like, I don't need that. Yeah. I mean, it's still sort of like. Put that actually makes the show feel cheaper. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Warner Brothers used to do that for all their old animes. It's like, oh, it's like Warner Brothers building. But yeah, a lot of companies will do that. But for Crunchyroll and Webtoon, like Webtoon, you don't realize it's like a, you don't really think of it as like, oh, a top tier. Yeah. Like it's just something that pops up on your Facebook feed every now and then. You're just like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. But I, and it wasn't worth watching. It was interesting. Yeah, it was good. good. Not as good as I had hoped, but. Yeah, yeah, a lot of lackluster in the story, kind of condensed. But again, still six and a half out of ten. Yeah. Um, so that was our main topic for today i think the next thing we want to talk about is a little bit on vr um so i bought the quest 2 on day of release and i've been playing a lot of that and i just had adam try out because adam played um i uh, know uh htc vibe yeah the htc vibe with one of our other friends and i think you played super hot yeah i played super hot i played uh half-life alex yeah that was a crazy game Oof. i would get if you have vr i'm not sure if you already have i'm sure you know if you have vr you already bought it but get half-life alex that game is like Nuts VR, <laughs> great quality, like ooh, ooh, good. Anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, what other game was this? Um, the orc one where that you 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 punch with the orcs or whatever. You're in the. Oh arena. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is but you didn't one? play that in VR, did you? I think I did the first time I went over there. Oh really? I think I did, yeah, because I played I played his VR like three times, and then there's mm-hmm. one, but there was another one. Oh, I played the, we played Beat Saber. Beat Saber. One back when he lived in the well, yeah old, his old apartment, we played Beat Saber and we played. Uh, I have Beat Saber. That rock climbing one. Yeah, so that one was to the top. I actually want to get that one too. Uh, what else did I play? Um, there was like one ninja game that you played. Yep, that was really cool. It was like uh, you can jump around and like you know teleport. And yep, and kill like samurais and ninjas and stuff with like use guns and uh, yeah, it's fun. It's it was yeah VR is a blast. Yeah, what do you think of? I know it's it's that about. 
people think it's going to be the future of gaming. What do you feel like on that? I don't know about the future of gaming. I mean, I, it definitely is going to become a big part of it, but I think there will always be, like, you know, uh, a market for, like, you know, because there are some games that don't work as well with VR. Like, mm-hmm. if you look at, like, uh, like something like League of Legends, I mean, that's not yeah. really like you can't ever do it in VR. No, it's not really like a VR kind of. Well, thing. you could be the characters. Yeah, but even so, it would still be like because part of like is having the perspective of yeah, like yeah. the map, like that's part of like the 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 goal. And it's like you know when you if, like your first person, it makes a lot. Now, could there be like a first person VR version of League of Legends? Sure. That'd be cool. But yeah, I don't. It would know. have to mess a lot with like attack speed and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be complicated. You'd have to. You wouldn't. You know, because some people don't just swing. Yeah. <laughs> like auto attack. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, but yeah, and it, you know, and obviously, and I don't know for me particularly. Like I can't play VR for too long. Like yeah. I can only play it for like an hour, hour and a half, two at most. You get a headache or? Yeah, I mean, you just get. It depends on the game. Like games that have like super like crazy motion. Mm-hmm. Like it's like I couldn't do that forever. Like I mean, you get used to it, but like I could definitely game like normally longer. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I just prefer, like, being a third party to it. Like, I don't like being, like, in first person. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd rather be, like, see the screen and just, I don't know. I feel I feel more interesting as, like, a third party outside of the game. But that's just me. Do I think it, it will be a part of the future? Do I think it is the future? No. Do I think it will be a big part of it? Yeah, I think it'll be a, it'll be just as common as regular gaming is now. I have a lot of fun with, I've been playing this, um, so there's some, like, Smaller companies that don't make it onto the Oculus Store, you sideload those. And there's this one where you play a police officer. You're kind of getting. To, it's kind of like a. They could kill everybody on the screen, and then you move on to the next part of the. Does it feel like an arcade? In yeah, it feels like it exactly. But it's all. It's kind of hard because you can't. Like aiming in VR is super hard. It's, it is. <laughs> it's more realistic. So. Yeah, people people underestimate that how hard it actually is, but. It's. I um I was I, so since that one's wireless, some of the games you can't play. Like Alex, or because it takes too much. Because it will, the file sizes are too big, and the power that that's needed to is too much. But the positive is that if you use a, a app called the VR Desktop, something like that, yeah. um, you can stream your desktop to the to the Oculus. If your internet's strong enough and your computer's strong enough, you can just play the games from the computer straight onto the VR. So I can play Alex. I can play all that stuff just through streaming, which has actually worked. I tried it, yeah. and um, so that's a big plus for me because I. I didn't like having a wire. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of disorienting because you always got to watch out. You have to, mm-hmm. like, constantly. You can't really... It breaks immersion a little bit. You constantly yeah. have to be aware of where the wire is. And, but wireless, I think that's definitely the way, the only way to play VR in oh, my yeah, opinion. Oh, yeah. I mean, VR, wireless, that's that. If the future of VR, it's definitely going to be wireless. Like, yeah. You know, because it's just... It's it's the way you want to go. It's the way to go. It's just more fun. More. Um, yeah, I wish... I mean, it's not VR's fault, but I wish you could, you could move more in real person. But, I mean, you're limited to your space. But I wish I could not have to use the sticks to move <laughs> all the yeah, time. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no, because, again, your body wants to move. Yeah, like, you get dizzy. You can't, you know? It's like with the, you know, the Attack of Titan one I was playing. Like, my body wanted to go forward, but <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, I can't. I <laughs> fall into the TV or yeah. whatever, so. Yeah, so what did you think of the Attack of Titan VR? It was good, especially for being, like, a fan-made sort of, like, you know, I thought it was really well, a little clunky on the turning. But, again, for a fan-made, it was fantastic. I was like, I loved it. It was fun swinging around, a little bit disoriented. My body was like wanting to move, but it yeah. feels like you could see a Spider-Man game oh, being oh, amazing. Absolutely. That would be that would be the kind of game that would be great in VR, a first-person Spider-Man game. Uh, would, that'd be so fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, it'd be insane. It'd be intense, you know, hanging upside down. Like, yeah. man, that would be disoriented. The but it would be awesome. The t- yep. <laughs> you know, with the build their own like special VR things for like mm, Spider-Man, cool. so you could just swing. I know it, it, you, you can do hand tracking, so even if it just did hand tracking. Yeah, I think a guy so probably would need buttons. Has like hand has like a hand tracking glove, so where it like uh, really tracks course. hands so he could like, so they already have those, so you could, but they're expensive, like a couple hundred a pair. Or yeah, something. this one you don't even need it. It just tracks your hands automatically. Cool. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I think you still need buttons at some point. Yeah, yeah, no, his is all, but it's like, again, it's also like, mo- like feeling motion, so it's like, it's something that the game touches that you can like feel it. Oh really? Yeah, That's it's cool. like yeah, it's like again, he was like it was like a, there were prototypes, but it was like a couple hundred, couple hundred dollars eat per glove. Like they were like total like, I don't know. It was expensive, but yeah, I mean it, it definitely is gonna be it's gonna be fun. You yeah, I definitely even though it won't probably won't be my main source of gaming, I definitely will invest in a VR headset just to just to have one and just to try. Yeah, stuff out. I'm super happy with it. I mean yeah, I can't play it as much as the PC obviously, 
Um, but I, I have a lot of fun just cracking it open once in a while and playing an hour or two. Um, one of the main games I play is the a boxing game, which you have to try. But I do not have the stamina <laughs> to play boxing. Last time I did it, I, I was like, I ended up just having to spit a lot because I felt like I was gonna throw up because I pushed myself too much. But it's so fun. You're like, I, but I gotta knock this guy up. And you're like, my body can't yeah. physically keep up with yeah. what I want to do. What's interesting is thinking about the you know different applications of VR. You know, not mm-hmm. just outside of gameplay. You know, boxing. You can do boxing training. Yeah. And obviously, you know, as much as you can, you want to do in real person. But say you're at your home and you just want to, you know, try mm-hmm. it up and you have no sparring partner, you can just. It's a great exercise. I mean, my chest was on fire. Like I had, it did a full workout, and I don't know. It was fun. It was fun to just even like. Sometimes you want to fight, but you can't do it. And not, yeah. I mean, I don't actually want to fight somebody. No, no. But you want to still fight. Yeah, yeah, you know. And getting it out there on a, a boxing game, it was fun. Yeah, I'll have to try that out. That looks that looks interesting. I think it'll be a curious, yeah. curious it's, endeavor. It's pretty cool. I don't know, but now uh, maybe we'll come back to this topic when you have a lot more yeah when i show you more games where you get your own vr yeah and we can talk about it in depth more mm-hmm. i thought it was just a like a cool little side thing that we could yeah do. yeah well i mean it's definitely for fits perfectly well with nerd things so, <laughs> yeah you know, definitely vr is one of them yeah we're gonna that's pretty much it i think that's all yeah. we had in mind for this that covered the topics we talked about the anime talked about some gaming stuff so mm-hmm. i think that works well that was fun yes it was good it was good <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you for stopping by and listening and I, I guess we'll see you guys, I don't know, two weeks from now? Probably two weeks, yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. See you in two weeks.